this is Gadget Stop 321 In today's video, I'm taking a look at an app that I've been testing on my Galaxy Tab A for taking notes. Now, in a previous video, I demonstrated how S-Note worked, and someone left a comment on one of my videos that lecture notes would be a, a good app to take a look at. They had used it, I believe... They said they had used it uh, during college for taking notes. Now, before I hop into lecture notes, there's one more feature on S Note that I want to demonstrate. There's, beginning with the Galaxy Note 5, which is the phone that I use, um, Samsung introduced the feature, uh, I think it's called a, a screen off memo, and I'm going to demonstrate it on my tablet here. If your screen is off and you take out the S Pen, now on the phone when you take out the S Pen you're automatically able to take notes but on the tablet, well actually there it popped up. So I can, let's see, And so now, without having to launch S Note, I can just save that, and I'll be able to view it later in S Note. Now, it took a little while for it to pop up on this tablet. This is a little bit older tablet. Sometimes I have to press, actually, let me see what happens if I press the power button. Mm. Let's try this. Let me put it back in. And if I take this out, well, it popped up automatically. Sometimes it doesn't launch automatically. Uh, sometimes I have to push the home button. And I'm able to take a note real quickly. I don't have to launch an app and open up a notebook or create another notebook. And that feature like I noted in my note, it was a game changer. That allows my phone to take the place of a, a pocket notebook, and it makes it a lot easier to take notes on the fly on a tablet. Okay, and that that's a feature of S Note. Now, let's take a look at lecture notes. This is a trial version, so I'm only going to be able to create two notebooks if you and each notebook can only have eight pages but that's enough to give us a feel for the features of this app if you want to buy the full version it's like six dollars and ninety nine cents in the app store okay if you want to add you can add a new notebook you can add a new folder which you can organize your notebooks in or you can add a quick notebook. I'm just going to add a notebook for the first one. And you notice there's a lot of options here. Let me see. Yeah, I can scroll with the S Pen. You can name it with a timestamp or you can just type in a name. I'm going to label this one. Uh, I'll name it Math. if I were going to use this notebook for taking math notes. There are all kinds of different options. You can change the size of the pages. You can uh, change where it saves it to. Um, you can pick what type of ruling you want, whether it's plain paper, ruled, checkered, which, let's see, that's going to be graph paper. You can put an image in the background or a custom page. Now, it's 33% right now, the size of the ruling. Let's see, the pattern size. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Just in my tests, that was pretty small. I'm going to put it on 50% and you can see how big that is. Uh, and there's just all kinds of things. The paper color, the pattern color, the color cover or the cover color are all things that you can adjust and you can create it 
or you can create and go straight to open it. But this is what it looks like. This is the page. Let me see what that's called. I'm going to get into this notebook. That page right there is called the notebooks board. That's where all your notebooks and folders are laid out. Um, there's a notebook index. That's just like you would have on in a a textbook, you can index the different pages um, using, I think, using keywords or whatnot. Let me see. Notebook overview. I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Let me go ahead and add some stuff here. Now, there, this differs from S Note in that you have. A lot more control over some things and less control over other things. The pens are something that you have less control over. You can just pick basic colors and as far as the line width goes, uh, you had very granular control in S note, but it's just fine, medium, and thick. So I'm going to leave it on medium. Um, now the eraser, you have more control than you did in S note. Um, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Let me go ahead and write something. Okay, that was medium. Let me demonstrate. Uh, fine. Okay, so those are your options with, let's see. You can show your pencil toolbox, and I guess you've got some options for drawing straight lines and drawing shapes. I won't get into that right now. I'm going to hide that toolbox. You can create some custom pencils. Mm, let's see. Let's take a look at the eraser. You can adjust the uh, width of the eraser. This is extra fine, and you can see exactly where you're erasing. Let me zoom that in a little bit so you can see what just happened. Okay, you may not even, that was, that's the smallest amount you can erase. Let's see, here's fine. That's quite a big jump between extra fine and fine. Here's medium. Oh, and you didn't even see that. Let me demonstrate medium again. This is medium. And I think I can zoom back out now. Extra thick. And ultra thick. And you can uh, clear by layers. Let's see. You can clear all the layers of the page. Okay. Now, on S note, you could set it so that you only wrote with the S pen and then your finger would move the page around. But that's not the case here. You can either set it to write or move the page around. You can't do both at the same time. Uh, you can add pages. This adds page, or hold on. Oh, this this adds layers. It looks like a page on top of a page. You can undo, but it doesn't look like you can redo. Hmm, that's interesting. You can add pages. Now, going back to a previous page is, 
on S note, you just had a page forward, page backward down at the bottom of the screen. It's navigating pages is a little bit more cumbersome. You have to go over here to your little notebook menu, um, notebook overview, and then you can see each of your pages and you can go forward and backward. So turning from one page to the next is not as easy. And see, if I click this, that's just going to add a third page. So if I want to go back to the second page, it's a little bit cumbersome. Let's see. I'll lighten red this time. Uh, and that will add a page three. Now on S note, it had the little magnifying box, and this has a similar thing. Let's see. While I'm, at, while I'm on this menu, you can import images, you can export to PDF, you can export to OneNote. Um, I think over here, you can save changed pages. I guess go back. Oh, let me see. Oh, I'll have to show it when I go to the main menu. You can import things from your cloud drives. Let's see. You can adjust your notebook settings. And those are the same settings that you had when you created the notebook. You can change the name of your notebook and change the cover color, change the ruling. Um, let me see. Ah, yeah, notebook settings. And I went to settings again, and there are different options that you have. And one of them is... Uh, provide input zone. That enables a zoomed input... For writing okay I'm gonna use my back arrow go back and it looks similar to the zoomed input for uh, S note but let me demonstrate this I tried to write this as a test and you see how that turned out so this has not been perfected yet. The uh, magnified magnification box on S note is works flawlessly compared to this. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay, I'm going to create another notebook. This time I'm just going to do. Uh, a quick notebook and that just you can set up a quick notebook your quick notebook settings uh, it's set up by default to name it name the notebook with a timestamp and a quick notebook just creates a notebook and opens it up Let me see. I don't think there's any pressure sensitivity with, no. It makes uniform link or width lines. And for note taking, that's not an issue. But this, this wouldn't be something you would use for artwork. Okay, so if I go back to the notebooks board, now I've got two notebooks. And if I try to create another notebook in this trial version... Uh, this is a trial version, two notebooks at a maximum. But I can create a folder. And I'm going to name this folder School. Uh, and I'm going to create the folder. And then I can... Now, you can make these different colors. I just kept it the default red. You can select 
a notebook and let's see. Uh, I can move my notebook and I can move it. It'll list the folders and I've only got one folder so I'm going to move it to school. Um, and inside my school folder is that quick notebook. Let's see. You can share your notebooks or folders. Okay. So I'm going to put my math notebook in the same folder. So now when I open up my school folder, it's got my two notebooks in it. So this is one advantage that uh, Lecture Notes has over S-Note. Organizing your notebooks is, uh, you've got better options for organizing your notebooks. Now that I do like, but as far as uh, the note-taking experience, I think I still like S-Note better. And I'm still, I think because of my previous experiences with these note-taking apps, um, 